What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Second Accord and I'm going to do a quick video um, on the Galaxy Tab 7.0 Plus. I recently uh, was having some issues with the Galaxy Tab. I had to change out launchers. Um, the launcher was getting pretty laggy. Um, I downloaded a couple launchers. Uh, for, you know, when I first got the uh, the tab, it was running fine. It was very smooth. As you see, it's very smooth now. But for some reason, it kind of cut kind of laggy. So, I, um, long story short, my tab froze up on me, and I had to do a factory reset. And I'm going to show you guys, there's two different ways to do a factory reset. Um, even if your tab doesn't freeze up, I do suggest that if your tab is ever running laggy or anything of that nature, go ahead and do a factory reset. It's pretty simple. Um, as long as you buy um, your apps off of Google Play, all of your apps will re-download. So that's really cool. All of your Amazon uh, apps, if you use Amazon App Store, you can re-download the app, Amazon App Store and then you can re-download the apps. But all of your settings, I mean, every all of your contacts and everything like that should still be on the tablet. So it's not too bad. But I'm going to show you guys really quick how to factory reset it. Um, after the factory reset, my tablet is running smooth again. It's no lag. As you see, it's very quick, very responsive. Um, go on apps. Everything is very smooth. So I don't know what the issue was, but um, I've had this... I've noticed this effect on other phones as well. Other phones that I've had, I've done a factory reset and then it's very smooth. So, anyway, shortcut. You can click on down the notification bar, click on the time, and you're going to see settings. You click on settings. And you're going to look over here to where it says privacy. Click on privacy, and it says data factory data reset. This will reset everything on your tablet. You will have to Resign into your Google account, but after you sign into your Google account, everything should re-download. It should do it automatically. Um, depending on how many apps you uh, you'd have, it can take anywhere between 20 minutes and two hours. When I did it, it re-downloaded everything within about half an hour. So, factor data reset, and you click on it, and then it'll say it'll erase all of these things. Also, if you're like me and you're stuck in a boot loop, I'm going to show you how to factor reset from a boot loop. So if you're turning your device on and it won't, um, won't you can't get it past the Samsung screen, what you need to do is you need to hold the power button and the up button at the same time. You need to hold it until you get into the recovery. So you're going to hold it past this screen. I'm going to continue to hold it. And here we go. Now you're in the stock Android recovery. And it's going to go through this. Now, when my tablet wouldn't boot up right here, it says unsuccessfully applied multi CSC. But right here, you have all these options. You have reboot, system now, update, apply update from external storage, factory data, factory reset. And you can also wipe your cache part, your, your cache partition. So if you would choose factory data reset, you use the volume buttons up and down, the power button will select it, and then it will factory reset your tablet. You will have to sign into your Google, Google account again. But like I say, as um, long as you have everything backed up to Google in the cloud, you know, if you have Google Plus, all of your pictures should uh, be in the cloud anyway. If you uh, saved your contacts as Google contacts, they're going to be uh, tied to your Google account. So a factory data reset really is just wiping anything extra off your tablet. So. But I'm just going to reboot the system. I'm not going to do the reset. But if you have any problems with your Samsung Galaxy Tab, try a factory reset. Trust me.
now my tablet is running as smooth as it was from day one and you know I don't know what the deal, deal was I did download um, a certain launcher it was an ICS launcher it was called the holo launcher and right after that I downloaded the holo launcher um, my tablet froze so I tried to reset it and then it wouldn't reset it wasn't a boot loop so I don't know if it was that app or it was just timing but anyway second accord I'm out